Hello there, and good morning. Don't forget to ding dong the bell. Like if you possibly can, <laughs> and subscribe. Well, here we are on site. It's quarter to six on a Sunday morning. Um, it's very, very quiet and very, very cool. We've transferred up here now. Um, so we're in a bit, bit of a mess, a bit of a state, really. But the other house, it was all cast concrete. And the temperatures are rising for 32 during the day, but they wouldn't drop. And of course, down there, with concrete roads and concrete buildings, that 32 became 36 or 38. And the temperatures never dropped until 2 in the morning. And then only for an hour or so. Temperatures here, last night, 6 o'clock, you needed a pullover on. It was really nice, and this morning it's absolutely beautiful. So that's a good thing. Um, the prob pump, again, is problems. This, this is a thing which is the hardest to come to grips with in the Philippines. That, this man has been out four times now replacing gaskets. He replaced the gasket six weeks ago. He came yesterday and replaced two more gaskets. Now the gaskets, were, he held them together with electrical tape and PFT tape, which doesn't instill confidence into you. He'd only gone half an hour and the top gasket blew. So we're waiting for him to come back. And because it was more than four weeks since he replaced them, you got to pay again. You're paying, and you're paying, and you're paying, and he's not solving the problem. So that you can only deduce that he doesn't know what he's doing. Unfortunately, when you say things like this, you upset people. Because he's the waterman, locally. But it doesn't matter if he's a waterman locally or not. If he's not capable of doing the job, um, he's just making people suffer. So he's coming back today, I'll let him do it. I'm gonna go down uh, town now because of no Wi-Fi whatsoever here. Um, and I'm going to Google these pumps and the pressure. It's got a pressure switch on it, which is not being used at all. So maybe that's the problem. The pressure is it, regulating the pressure inside and building the pressure up as a back pressure and it doesn't need to be on so it, it, it may well be if I google it I can take that off and it, that might be the problem if not uh, there's an agricultural place I've bought a couple of bits off and they're nice people so I'm sure they'll put me on to um, another water pump fella so, like I said, with no Wi-Fi here whatsoever, with a man coming in on Monday uh, to connect us to Wi-Fi, hopefully that will happen Monday. Um, and we hopefully will upload this video while we're downtown. Um, the typhoon came through yesterday, it went right to the north, it, it, it entered uh, Filipino waters but it, it never touched land in, um, in the Philippines at all. On Friday there was some bad storms, but we missed them all together. Um, so yeah, we, 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 but the television liked to spook these things up and everybody's going to die. <laughs> um, you know, typhoons change direction and that's the problem with them in cyclones if they change direction suddenly and catch everybody unawares that's when you get big damage and big death toll um, like the one in the um, Gulf of Mexico New Orleans about 10 years ago that, that swung that was predicted to go further north and swung inland at the last minute and 
just about wipe New Orleans out. So, um, what else? Oh, I'll, I'll, spe I'll say a special hello to Sophie. Hi, Sophie. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, we'll have, we'll have, a, we'll have a look at um, the post, the last post. Just pause it. Right, sorry to say, the Filipino guy has failed, like I failed, at burning the bloody rotten stumps. But he's, like me, he's not giving up. <laughs> um, it, but this tree here, this tree stump roots, all this come out the hole down here. Unbelievable. The size of the damn thing. And uh, these are the pet dogs I've made. This one, <laughs> this one here has got some eyes at the front. <laughs> and a clear head. But you can see how deep they are. I haven't measured them, but um, I will measure them on camera so we have a record of it. And um, they're going down at 18 inches, two foot for the foundations, and then even lower for the posts. It must be a metre deep, not but same size of posts, and then. This one is where the tree stump was. You can see there, there's a piece going that way. And here, still a piece going that way. It's took them a full day to uh, dig them holes and take them out, take the stump stump out. Now, then the line here is from this fourth to Yeah, so the boundary line, for example, comes through here. So this stump is on our property, and similar there, the one what's still standing is on their property. This one here is cut down is on this property. Now I've said to him I'm not digging that bloody stump out. It's ridiculous. So what I'm gonna do they seem to agree with me is come up here with the fence. That's the boundary. And then come up here. bypass this bloody stump then back to the boundary again or maybe to make it easier bring the fence up this side of the stump and carry on that side of the stump that land is still ours but it's outside the, the fence, it's not fenced off. I think that'll be the easiest. Bring, bring the fence up here and then straight to that surveyor's peg. There's some stumps there. There's a big stump at the far end. The surveyor's peg's to the left of that. There's two stumps there. We can get up the left hand side of them two stumps, I think. We'll, we'll know for better when the string line's on. But I'll t no. to dig that out, I mean, I'm going to have to pay three men a bloody week's wage to dig that sobbing thing out. And then what am I going to do with it? 
I'll burn it. <laughs> oh, never mind. Um, we'll leave it there for now, I think. And uh, we'll get this posted, hopefully today. Uh, but you might not see anything of me for a couple of days. Depends. Monday the Wi-Fi fella comes. Um, I'll make a couple of videos. Hopefully we're connected up and I'm online again. And I can, you know, uh, message and ring people again.